Hey there, this is going to be a video on a swipe and I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas. I put push, push pins on the back and I have my colors already mixed but I wanted to show you just how I mix one of them just in case this is your first time finding a video. This is two paint which Typically I use deco art, which is craft paint. So deco art paint, for instance, uh, one of the squeeze bottles that I have is bright blue. So here's bright blue on a squeeze bottle. If I put this in my cup, I'm going to do one part paint and one part Floetrol or o Oatrol. Today I'm using Oatrol Easy Flow. This is a European company and you can get this on Amazon or either from the Oatrol website. It's the same thing kind of as Floetrol and Oatrol has been very good to me and, and offered to let me try their products out. So what I do is I mix 50-50 paint to Oatrol. And I put a little bit too much, so I'll just add another squeeze of blue paint. This is called Brilliant Blue by Artist Loft, and it is a magnificent blue. Everything is going to be in squeeze bottles so I can control what comes out of the bottle. And um, just one little trick that I have is I have some good quality squeeze bottles that just have a screw on lid which makes it really easy to use and the plastic is a lot stronger and I got these on Amazon they were I think six bottles for about twelve dollars so they're maybe about two dollars a bottle but they're they're well worth the money spent but if you get the cheaper dollar bottles uh, that come like this and they all have a little uh, flap thing with a top on it on it and it always kind of gets in the way drag, I've drug it through my paint that kind of thing well someone told me and I thought this was brilliant because I never thought of it is just to cut off here and here and use your little lid to keep your bottle closed that cut off this plastic piece. So that was just something I wanted to share with you. So I've got other colors mixed and different brands. So I'm just going to go with different brands. I'm not going to use one particular brand today. So this is Brilliant Blue by Artist Loft, which is really a fantastic color. And for smaller quantities, I also pick up the smaller squeeze bottles. This one is called a writer, a W-R-I-T-E-R, -E like if you write with it, where you're, it's, it's made to put your paint in the bottle and then you can draw with it and it has a very fine point on the end, right here. See the fine point? So like here's a regular squeeze bottle that comes from the dollar store and there's a writer bottle and you can see the difference in the size of the, the end of it. And the smaller the end, the better control you have over it. So it's a one to one ratio and you mix, you mix your conditioner up with your paint first before you add any water. You want your paint conditioner, the Oatrol, to bind with your acrylic paint. So you do that first. And then after you've got that nice and mixed well, then you add your water. And I just have water that's put in a bottle and I have H2O written on it. So that's what I'm doing here. And then you lift your stick up and you want your paint to pour off your stick like warm honey. And this is 
almost perfect, but it's still dripping in blobs a little bit, so it needs more water. So this is what I do before I put any paint into squeeze bottles is I mix it in a cup and this is just for a small amount but if I want you know for an 8 ounce squeeze bottle I'll do it in a 5 ounce cup or even like an 8 ounce cup or something like that. So obviously you need to go over twice as big on your cup as paint that you're going to be mixing up because you need the space to stir it, you need that space to add the Oatrol, you need the space to add water. So now it's nice, nice and runny. But it's not watery like watered down paint. And I'm going to add spot on treadmill lubricant. Put a drop in there. And that was a very healthy drop, so I didn't mean for that much to come out, but it came out. Now what I do is I unscrew the lid, and actually, yeah, that's a smaller bottle. Sometimes if they have longer no tips to them, it makes them look larger, but it's not. So then I take it and I pour my paint into the bottle. So if I had done that, if I had mixed everything in this bottle, I wouldn't be able to see the consistency of it or make sure that it's exactly the way I want it. So now I'll put the lid back on and it's ready to go and it's ready to be squeezed out of. People have asked me to do something that resembles a butterfly and I try to make it still look a little bit abstract and I'm trying to still decide on my colors. I think I want purple, the brilliant blue, the bright blue. That's the peacock teal, which is like a phthalo blue. Um, turquoise. And I think I was going to do red, yellow, and orange which is typically what I love to mix with my turquoise and blues, but I'm going to put these back. And I think I'm going to instead use, this is Deco Arts Baby Pink and Primary Magenta. So I think I'll use those instead. And I have titanium white in a squeeze bottle. And I have my black in a squeeze bottle. So I'm going to put these aside. I have a store card that I use to swipe with. I have paint scrapers. I've got a medium and a smaller one. They're plastic. They came from Home Depot or Lowe's. They come in a three pack. So there's a larger one like this, but this is too big for my 16 by 20, but it comes in a three pack for about $3. So these are what I'm going to swipe with. I have a skewer in case I want any really fine lines, and I have a straw in case I need it. So I like to usually do this on black, but today I'm going to use white. Like I said, it's a 16 by 20. Now I'm going to skim out a coat of the white, which is mixed 50-50 with Oetrol and a little bit of water. There's no silicone in here. The great 
part about this style is that typically you don't have a lot of leftover uh, paint that's wasted. So you kind of get to, to use your paint a little bit smarter by trying to control it a little bit better. Just making sure the white is around all the edges. Sometimes the paint will go off the edge somewhere, but not everywhere. So I just try to make sure there's a light coat at least over the whole canvas and on the sides. So I want this to loosely, very loosely feel like a butterfly. And when I did a black one the other day, I started to swipe with all the rainbow colors and I tried swiping it with black and I wanted that black lacing or cell effect with all the colors, but on the black canvas I felt like it was too dark, so I thought, well, I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to do it on a white canvas. And most, you know, a lot of times you see beautiful butterflies that have all the black outlines and edges, and so that's typically, that's basically what I want to do here, is I'm going to swipe with black and uh, hopefully get a bunch of color and try to control the shape of it into a, something of an abstract butterfly. So I'm going to start by doing the purple. I love, I love purple. I always kind of start with purple for some reason. And what I'm going to do is Well, I was going to start with the top wings, but maybe I'll start with the bottom wings. And of course, there's all kinds of shapes of butterflies, too. So, my next color is this brilliant blue and I can tell already oh I, I forgot and these brand new bottles these bottles are by deco art and the brand new bottle they put a seal inside the lid let me get that out real quick I don't know why there's a seal in there because they're you know they come empty But I love the smaller bottles like this because you can really control how much paint you have coming out. Then the bright blue. So my turquoise and purple are in the bigger nozzle bottles that are cheaper so you, can, you don't have as much control over them. I, here, this is a peacock teal color. I'm going to put it right there. I may not have, have wanted this color but I'm going to use it anyway. So now the turquoise. And I'm kind of trying to keep the, the lines as delicate as I can, but you can only control so much on the bigger bottles, the way they come out. <clears throat> and this is the magenta. And the baby pink. And it's already got white. I'm just going to add a little bit more white, but really, I probably don't even need to do that.
I also have, this is carousel pink. These are all de deco art colors except for the, the blue that I mixed in the bottle at the beginning. That was an uh, artist loft. So this is more of a hot pink. It's brighter. I'm trying to figure out how I want to swipe my wings. So this is going to be the black. And you also have uh, a wet paper towel, or you can have a dry one, but you have something that you wipe your tool with every time you swipe. I'm going to do the middle area first. So like that took a little bit more white with it, so I'm just going to come back and thicken up this line a little bit. And what I can do is just very gently pull down with my card to make that heavier. And the reason I did the middle is because if you come down and then you come here and then you come here it's going to go back over that first wing and I want this first wing to be more predominant I think so that's why I decided to do that so I'm going to go ahead and do this part of the wing and they don't have to connect because it is like I said an abstract kind of feel I'm going to use the smaller one for this part. I'm just going to go ahead and take it off to the edge. I like those colors pretty well. I'm pleased with that. So now I'm going to put my thicker black line. Just go thicker with it so that you have enough black to cover, cover the whole area. That's where my it lifted off if you don't get it flat with that canvas. So this one I'm going to come more over this way, I think, and down over this bottom wing. That's why I wanted to do the top last.
And if you put too much paint on when you squeeze the, out of the bottles, you'll have so much that when you lift your scraper off, it's going to drip paint everywhere. So that's why you need to kind of control how much paint you're putting down on the canvas. Just lightly doing that with my finger there, just to add in that gap. <clears throat> so this one I'm going to come over the side. So I think I'm going to do Just a generic shape. That's the uh, peacock color. This is the brilliant blue. And the purple. Maybe uh, a hint of the magenta. So this is just going to be a puddle here anyway because of the thickness of the paint. So I just basically swiped through the paint. Just to give the illusion of the body. Draw it in with this because it's fine and um, you know we have a little legs that come off and you know to make it feel a little bit more abstract it can just be I'm glad I added the um, the carousel pink in, which kind of made the pink pop a little bit more. Um, so 
So just for the heck of it, this is the Seabreeze color from Deco Art. I'm going to come in here. a little bit of a point. So I'm just basically swiping over the white. So it just gives a little bit of a background color to it. So like these more narrow areas, I would just still do with my butter knife because I can control it better. Here, kind of the same thing. And I think what I'll do is I'll use the bright blue as well, just a little bit of it. The key is you got to keep wiping it with your paper towels so that you don't contaminate other colors around it. Let's see if I can do something here. I don't know if I can or not. That's a little harder than I wanted as far as the color goes. So I'm just going to swipe it just a little bit. back here and see if I can come back out. A little bit of um, that color in it. Let's see. Let's see if I can just take what's here.
So it would have been easier just to do this first and then the antennas, huh? So I didn't mean to get that gray line in there. Okay, there's my butterfly attempt. I probably should have just left the background alone, but it was fun playing with it.
So there's the butterfly. There it is. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked it. And if you did, you know, there's see, there's things I could have done. I could have swiped a blue background and then done everything with the butterfly over the top of it. So um, there's always things that you could possibly do different. And um, I wanted it to feel abstract because everybody loves butterflies and somebody will love a butterfly, right? So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, please. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.